a blessed Sunday to us. Well, at the beginning of the 10th chapter of St. John, which is what we have read today, but the whole chapter actually is a whole discourse on Jesus as the Good Shepherd. But here in this first section, we are introduced into three images. That Jesus is not just the shepherd. He is the gate of the sheep, for the sheepfold. You know, and he is basically uh, the one who actually is the contradiction or the, the exact opposite of the shepherds that God has given to his people, calling back to mind the very rich history of the people of Israel. And he is referring here to the kings, to the leaders. In fact, I remember as a student, when I uh, ventured, you know, in, in the Biblicum, you now where I studied for my licentiate in sacred scriptures, there are many languages that are offered. Has something to do with the biblical understanding and the, you know, like for example, Akkadian, Sumerian, Greek, you know, Hebrew, and everything. So there are actually uh, elective courses of languages. And a little bit of a, I don't know if you're familiar with Enneagram. I am number four. And fours kono want to be always different, no? Not necessarily weird, but just to be different from all the rest. So I took up the Akkadian language, no? So it's not a very easy language because it's not written in, in Latin, no? It's different from Hebrew, it's different from Greek. But the writing of the Akkadian language is like sticks, no? That you are up real. So one of the things that I discovered and I learned is that shepherd, which is related to the king, the word in Akkadian is lugal, no? Lugal. And if we know Tagalog, no, it is basically like lugar, meaning to say, taking the place of another as we understand it as lugal. Also in Akkadian, because a king is the one who represents God, meaning to say, he is the, uh, the, the, the manifestation of God on the earth. But he is just the middle ground, no? Murasyag middle man, middle person. And that is what the king does. Now, why is the shepherd enters in the picture? Because the king, the greatest king in Israel, or the first king that God chose for his people was David. And David was a shepherd. And this is what the shepherd does. And Jesus, we know, belongs to the lineage of David. And what does the shepherd do? He does all the dirty things. That's why you remember a few years ago, Pope Francis would say, you shepherds, be, no? uh, smell like your sheep. So addressing to the priests, to the ministers, and not just only specifically to the people in church who lead the people, but also to all leaders. Because shepherding has something to do with being given uh, a task no? to lead. That's why the basic understanding of shepherding always begins in the family. Parents are shepherds. No, naasila ilang kaugalingong panon, the flock. Leaders, teachers, practically everyone who have, who have been given tasks. That's why I introduced the mass today, the Inko Worldly Prayer for Vocations. Ang toyo actually is vocation to the priesthood. But I included all other vocations. I hope dili sila masako na ko. No? Because whoever is entrusted the task of leading should always start from the very from the very essence of the family. Bisan gani, the members that are actually instituted also or part of the church, they belong to the family. And that's the reason why shepherding becomes a very interesting all art uh, encompassing no murag uh, nalukop nakalukop sa tanan nga wanang sa atong kinabuhi but then what comes to the picture is always it is the way of the shepherd that we are following it is the way of the lord and this is where the task comes as a very significant and challenging one we are always acknowledging that God is shepherding his people. 
But sometimes we also are aware that the shepherds to whom the task is, is entrusted are also lost. Munang adili lang ta maghisgot og lost sheep. Maghisgot po ta og lost shepherd. Munang akaron, this is a very interesting time, appropriate time to accept the challenge of praying also for those people entrusted with the task to lead the flock. Magampo sa ta sa mga pare, iampo sa mininyo para dili ni mahimong lost shepherd. Because you, we know the times, no? So continue to pray not only for vocations, not only for people to come in to the fold and to lead, but also for those who are already leading the flock, that they will be like the good shepherd himself, despite their or our own weaknesses. But it doesn't mean only them that we are praying for. We pray for each other. We pray for all peoples given the task and responsibility to lead and to guide. And I would like to specifically say something about our government officials, the people who are leading the nation. They are also shepherds. And so this is something that we have to take into account. Himuuna to nga parte sa atong kaugalingong kinabuhi sa matag adlaw. That as we pray for these people, and, so, and other people are also praying for us, we become a praying sheepfold. We become a praying flock. And so it is here that we come into contact with the heart of the Good Shepherd, that according to Psalm 23 in today's responsorial Psalm, he, le he leads and guides us through the staff and the rod. Kanang rod mo ni gamito niya to defend the flock from the wolves, from the enemies. But there is this staff that we are familiar with always. No, kanunay na to makitaan sa larawan sa shepherd, kanang naay staff nga naay kuan sa tumoy. And do you know the function of that? It is you, it is longer. Because when the sheep is not in the proper direction, mo na gamito og bira para ma mabutang sa insakto nga direksyon. That is the discipline that the Lord gives to us. And hopefully, as we continue to pray and reflect on the significance of what it means to lead and how it is to be led through the grace and the mercy of the Good Shepherd to the heart of God, to the heart of the Good Shepherd, May we also constantly realize that love, that the love that we can give to other people and to our brothers and sisters also include in it or includes in it the discipline for proper direction and most of all for the righteousness that the Lord wants us to follow. And what is that righteousness? It is the way of the Good Shepherd. As Jesus would say later on in the Gospel of St. John, I am the way and the truth and the life. Amen.